Greetings, students, and welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to be looking at Unit 4, Lesson 8 and 9, Multiply and Divide by 8. So again, hopefully, we're making good progress in the memorization of our multiplication facts, and they're reciprocal, they're, they're opposite with division. And if that's the case, if you now have mastered your 1s through your 7s and 10, you only have two new facts to memorize. You only need to memorize 8 times 8 and 8 times 9. And if you do that, you'll know your eights. So let's go ahead and begin with that now. So here we can see we have this array, uh, this rectangle for area. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight at the top here. And there are five here. Now, hopefully you already have this memorized. And so you know that we can write this as eight right here. So we're gonna say there's eight columns and in each column there are five and eight times five equals 40. We can also say that there are um, five rows and in each row there are eight and five times eight equals 40. All right, now we're gonna take what we just did here and apply it to this problem that you may not have memorized yet. Now, if you know your sevens, you already know the answer to this one, but in case you don't, uh, we can look at another way to solve this, all right? So here we have eight times seven. So there's eight across and there are seven, seven rows. So eight columns, seven rows. And maybe I don't know that fact yet. So what I can do is eight times five, should have that one memorized, we just did it. Eight times five is 40. Next, you do eight times two. Eight times two is 16. So that means that eight times seven is 40 plus 16. So let's do that over here. Zero plus six equals six, four plus one equals five. And that means that eight times seven is 56, which we saw this one a bunch in our last, um, last lessons when we were looking at the sevens, right? And so here, um, we can find that answer. So this is a way you can solve this and find the answer if you haven't quite memorized your sevens and your eights yet, all right? Because you should know your fives and your twos. All right, so now let's go ahead and go down to, to this one. So here we see how many groups we have. There are eight in each group. There are four groups. And four times eight equals. Now, hopefully you already know your fours, but if you don't, that's okay. Because what you can do is you can draw what I've drawn right here. If you don't know these facts, you could just draw four groups of eight and then count them. And what you're going to find is you end up having four times eight equals 32. So now that I know I have 32, I can do 32. Oops, scoot that over a little bit. 32 divided by eight equals, well, there's eight in each group. That means that there are four groups, which we can see here. All right, one last one. So this one, I'd like for you to, to pause the video if you need to, but I want you to see if you can come up with two multiplication equations and two division equations using these numbers right here. All right, if you need to, go ahead and pause and then come back when you're ready. All right, so hopefully you're able to figure these out either by writing them down on paper or just holding them in your memory. Um, what can I do with these three digits? All right, so I couldn't do 40 times five because that would be a big number, that'd be 200. But I can do eight times five. Eight times five equals 40. And if eight times five equals 40, I know that five times eight equals 40. All right, so now I'm gonna divide. I'm using two different symbols here, but they both mean divide. Um, and so therefore I know that I'm gonna put 40 in the front I'm gonna take that, that answer right there and it's gonna turn into the first part of my division. And I know that 40 divided by five equals eight. And therefore, 40 divided by eight equals five. All right. Well, you'll begin your independent work now. So good luck on that. I hope you have a good time. Uh, it was great working with you. I hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.